So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 full game tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 24 and in this video we continue with our game. We stopped at the game widget and we need the code uh, now the gameplay widget functionalities. But before that let's check our time. We want finish this game before this game jam starts here. I hope you joined already and you can see I have one day and 80 hours left before I want finish right um, with my game and I want to release it. So that was our time management. That's good. Let's go fast for our overview. We are now here in the gameplay section. We finished our main menu. That's nice. In the gameplay section, let's open up this one. We can see we finished uh, here the first block. We are here now in the gameplay widget block and we finished the design. So we need now set up the functionality. We are here. All right. So we know where we are, which means we can go there and dive into. That was that what we made in our last uh, video that was setting up. Let's see if the visibility is here set up. Uh, first of all, let's see this one set here. Let's check fast visibility. I should set this by default to collapsed. It should be not visible. And that's the setup which I need. Uh, yeah. So now we will go code the functionality so we switch back to the coding section and start from top and go not all through because here uh, this live section we will not code right now uh, later and this score section as well later but some other or, or we will see let's see we can see if we can do it right now or not all right let's get into it which means i start with this pause button and here I switch to the graph section and important when you switch to the graph section, we switch back. Uh, read if this pause button is set as a variable. If it's set as a variable, that's good. But we don't have to need this because it's a button we can scroll down and can use here on click. Um, uh, on click event so we click this one and then we have this click event and in this click event we want set something up so what we want to do is we set game paused when we click pause button right let's set here set game paused that is the first thing it is this one node and we check this checkbox and that uh, will set our game paused and i use here again my reference which means i have done here already a little bit and uh, i will just check what i did here on click uh, what is that uh, pausing yes and then of course we have to set like i said before we have here when we click this uh, button here pause we want make this visible again this uh, this uh, horizon uh, what is that it's a vertical box so this vertical box was set visibility to collapse at start so when i start my game you can see it's not here and when i press pause now i pause the game but you can see it's not popping up the menu this uh, play and i want make it visible so let's set it to visible which means i go here to again i select this button i can go to this one here jumps here and we have set this um visible and uh, first i comment this out pause game pause game this is okay and set here faster color perhaps and the next step is after we pause game um set visible this uh, vertical box but first of all we have to check if this is a variable because i need an access for it so i select the vertical box which is this one i go here on top right side and you can see i have to check if this is a variable if this is a variable check then we can go switch to the graph and you can see this vertical box here is normally here but what was the name it is it's called your post menu holder so we have here a post menu holder it's this one so it's here all right we grab this post menu holder get it and set visibility now we are here on this one we can access the options and we set visibility we just get the node and in this case we make it visible because when we press the post menu I want to see the visibility and let's comment this fast and set here uh, uh, set uh, visibility visibility off the pause menu 
boss menu. Let's write it this way. It's very short. It's okay. Nice for me. And uh, yeah, now this will visible. Let's test this fast because when we do it now, I pause it and you can see we can pause it. The problem is now, of course, I need to start again, which means I have to set up these two buttons. The one is play, the other is quit. Let's do this next because we go step by step here. All right. So we have now a play button. I select the play button. I scroll down. Uh, this is the wrong one. Sorry. I select this one here. I select the play button. I go down and here I click again on click. And here we set up now the uh, button play. And what we do is just set pause again, set pause. We get again the set pause node, but this time we just set this checkbox uh, to fail, which means uh, uh, not uh, uh, checked. Then this uh, game will be not pause. It will unpause and that's it. And here again, comment unpause. Un Pause game. Pause game on top. Unpause game here. When we do this, play, test. Yes, I pause it here. I play it. But here's another problem. You can see when I press play, it's not. Uh, it should be set uh, collapsed again or hidden again, right? In our case, collapse. So I have to set this collapse again when I set this one unpause. So what I do here is I do the same. Uh, thing like here I copy this one more or less I press here because it's exactly the same thing like on top which means we set the visibility of this per uh, pause menu this is the, in the middle thing and this time we set it here collapsed right so we make a collapse means hidden and uh, like I said you should read the difference in the documentation it means it takes no place as well all right we can test this compile save start and I pause it and you can see when I press play, it's there. I can pause it and play. That's already nice. This is okay. And now I want set quit. Quit is very simple as well. So the next thing what I do is I jump back fast to my uh, here. Then you can go. You have not to jump back all time like me. You can make something like uh, I think this event, you can call it directly. I just call it all time. Here is this on click button play pause and what is the next one this one is quit let's go here down on clicked i make it here now and here uh, we know there are different ways you can use the console command for quitting or there is also a quit note just write quit here's the quit game note you can use this one or you can, could also use the console command it's doing more or less the same thing i think I'm not sure you can read this in the documentation if they are really equal, if not, oh, but I think they are doing more or less the same thing. All right, here we are just quitting the game. Comment quit game. That's that. All right, with that said, we set this up. This is also fine. We compile save. We go here. We start game. We pause the menu. We play. It's working. Here I jump a little bit back and forth. That's also nice. I play it and I quit it. All right. So far, it's working. Good stuff. The next thing is here is a number and this is our score. We need a score setup and there are different ways to make a score setup. Normally you would make this in the game mode, but I'm not doing this in the game mode in this game because it is anyway not a online game. Uh, because this game mode setup you need more or less for online games and the reason for that is or multiplayer games uh, which are online and the reason for that is you want not that the player can cheat and when you set up all in the game mode which it will run only on the server and the server uh, runs only on the place where all the players has uh, have normally no access they are clients so they can uh, say so they can't cheat what i mean with can't cheat is they can try to change their values but the server will check the values all time uh, with updates and will update the values that's why we don't need that here it is a single player and single player means doesn't matter where you make it they can cheat and that doesn't matter because they have all the source calls on their pc and cheating there is very easy all right with that said we make it 
not on the game mode what i would normally prefer we can make it exactly here where we are which means i can do here setup uh uh yeah the thing here let me show you fast how i did it here in this case so uh, let me see i have here something like a tick and then i have delay and then i have score set up yes all right something like that so we do exactly that here what i have here but i explained it a little bit more in detail what i did there first of all we select this one here uh no first of all we switch then we create a what then we need a tick all right let's create a tick and again a tick is all time danger you know when you will see a tick then think twice if you really need it in my case uh, i know this will not break my game and i will use it as a as a counter let's say so and but i will not uh, call it every second so i will make something like uh, a delay again uh delay and this delay should be called yeah let's keep uh, every point let's see what happens with the value point two i'm not sure about this one let's see which i take here it was here point one okay let's set it point one as well just uh, this value is not very important so you set this one to a delay the, the delay is only here that we are not using every frame you know every frame is really really much <laughs> you can of course overwrite the tick as well so that is doing exactly uh calling exactly this uh, value which you have here in the tick but i'm not overriding the tick if you want to override the tick i think it's here uh on the override menu if we have this on function override and is here a tick or is this possible here i'm not sure or you you have to read uh, this in uh, in the documentation how to override a tick it's possible anyhow i have not uh, override it i just use in this case just this delay here that's enough for my case for my simple program but overriding a tick is sometimes really useful so that you are not using it every frame but yeah read this in the documentation if you need something like that so with that i continue my goal is here to create um uh, uh, integer first i need a value for because here you can see this one is a number and i will just uh, increase a number higher and higher which is my score so let's create here a number a number in my case is just an integer integer full number so let's create an integer and i call this one a uh, score these are my score here i changed the type to an integer integer means number full numbers full numbers means uh, also negative numbers but full numbers and compile save and here i select again the score and here on the right side you can see the default value is zero that's good it should start all time with zero when we start the game because then you make progress it gets higher and higher that's nice so i use now this one because i want uh i want when the game starts this that this tick is using uh, the score and adding to it more and more and more points how we make this very simple we get the score it start with zero we add to the store something let's just write add it's just the add uh not array it's, oh, let's write just a plus it's just add you can see operator add so we add and this add value you can define like you want let's add every second one point and of course i have to set this value to the new score this is my that score and this is the new score and how i make this i get the score again and i use a set and this is the new value and i connect this one and why is this all time adding because i use here a tick which will tick every 0 0.1 second and this will be incrementing and my score goes up 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 so this is just uh, uh let's make here a little bit different let's make a fast comment here comment uh delayed um change tick change tick value so that's it's not all time ticking every frame that is here this one is the here we are doing what we say uh, score 
uh, set of increment score increment score that's okay and here we are incrementing the score and one more thing uh, i think we need let's see when i start this one of course i need to bind this what do i mean with binding now you can see this here needs a connection to this functionality which we have here and how we do this there are different ways actually we can use a bind and something like that but in this case you can go here select first your text then go here to details and then here in text section you can make a bind but you can also select now directly the created uh the created score and that's nice that we can do this now i think before we couldn't i'm not sure perhaps we could uh, anyway we will select now the score integer and the score integer is now this value here and when i compile and save and when i start here you can see my score goes up and this system is just um, a time system scoring of course you don't need this time system scoring what i mean with that is uh, the longer you live the more points you get here right but of course you could make something like uh, coins additional obstacles and then you get uh, scores from coins here in the middle which you can add uh, to the score and many things but i skip this process again because this is again later if you have time after you finish your core system then you can add more functionalities more different uh, creative ideas what you have add them all time when you have time in my case i have only two days or roughly two days uh, even less I, I think i've tried to finish just the core system that's it first of all all right with that said uh, this is working almost this is not working because there is a problem and the problem is and sometimes you don't see uh, all the kinds of problems uh, what can happen here during the play and here i showed you very nice how it works you see the number I think I have not adjusted this as well, right? Uh, it's uh, in the middle anyhow. Uh, what the, the problem here is actually... Uh, you can't see the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> that you can't see where the problem is. So, uh, but when you look at what happens if I press pause, you can see this is nice. It pops up, but the number is still growing. And the reason for that is we have to tell also to pause this one it is pausing all other things but it is not pausing this tick event here anyhow so that's interesting that this uh, pause is not affected by incrementing uh, the tick event uh, it, it can't pause this tick and because of this kind of stuff we have to set up manually and you can see i just created here a variable which is used uh, to uh, pause it uh, as well when uh, that's the way we make i show you how i make this very simple so here i need room a little bit so i push this a little bit there and now i have a room and let's create a new variable a control variable so that this variable will check if i have pressed pause that's the job of this variable so let's create this variable let's make it a plus let's call it just uh, uh, post post game you can make your question mark uh, if you want and then change this type to a bool bool means all the time you are checking something and uh, the bool variable will say yes or no and then to use a bool variable most time you need a branch so right click or press b then it pops up or right click and uh, find branch here you can see it here this is the branch node connect it connect this one and uh, connect this one and what you have to do is all time like all oh, ever <laughs> compile and set up the default value can you can see the default value right now we have to think first before we connect something normally first of all post game when we press uh, this button here this will be probably then then i won't pause the game but for, uh, um, only when I press this button, which means I have to set this value here. Set value. When I pause the value, pause game here. Here I set pause value. This is the pause button. This is this uh, this button here. So you can see I press here this pause game. And then I want 
that uh, pause game is activated but right now you can see it's not right so we have to think a little bit more about this that was just uh doing it first of all what we have to think about it first this value has an initial value and right now the initial value is false and actually when i pause the game i set it to true which means when i set this one here to true i want that this one here should not what should not um count anymore which means um this one should go to false but right now uh, this one would work and that means here by default I should set this to what to pause wait a minute that looks not bad what I make wrong here is false false get uh, start here I press pause and uh, it said game paused right here is game paused oh crap Oh crap, I, again, I made the same mistake like before. I switched here my original file with my test file. Nah. All right, sorry, again. So we are here. And the mistake is actually, you can see the connection here. At start, here is, um, here is post false, and it must be at start connected from the false, not true, because here when I, press here the button it becomes true which means at start it must be false and false must our start value as well so that it works at start compile save this and now you can see pause it paused here but the problem is when i play it's not uh, starting again so of course the next step is we set up the other button the play button again and here we make the opposite which means i copy and paste this one here you get again this pause but this time you make here a unpause you set it to false setting to false means this becomes false false becomes you can this one is starting again all the code and that is that what we want all right you can compile here start uh here is pause the number is also pause good and play it's going on and now you are set up with that. It was also very easy, straightforward. And this life here, what comes next now, you can see what in a minute here, this uh, score, this life, and this score, I want to do it a little bit later because we have to set up our player collision and reaction to the obstacles. This is gameplay. Uh, and that will be changed then. And the high score, uh, that's also a special setup with this score but the high score is also we need to set up again our safe game right we talked already about a safe game the safe game will all time take for example in our case the score where you died and after you died uh, it will save the score and compare it with the high score what you have and if you are higher than the high score it will replace the high score with your new score and save it to a data so that when you start the game again your new high score will be here but all this kind of stuff in gameplay mode and after we set up here the character collision with this one here so before that i think that was all that what i need first fast uh, a comment here perhaps and we write here uh um pause what is that by the way this is just check uh pause uh score pause score setup or something like that pause score let's uh, let's write here pause score and here uh both of them comment and uh right here pause score setup pause score setup that's okay for this purposes that's i make here this one okay we have set up this one we can compile save and of course here source control submit and uh let's submit this i call this of course you should make here a better description than me i say finished finished game play with jet coding and something like that it's okay and submit all right so this one is also saved and normally you would go and test this also in your final file like i said normally i would uh, do send this now to my final project 
but uh, I have now less time. I will make this anyway later, but you can see I have here also created this double codes here. I need to clean up a little bit, uh, but I skipped this part. So with that said, uh, let's test it one more time fast. It's okay. I think that's okay. Play is working. Uh, it's not going. Quit is working. Yes, it works all more or less. That's fine. And so with that said, I stop here this video. If you have any questions or any complaints, like all time, write it in the comments. And like all time, have fun. Don't give up and see you in the next video. Bye and good luck.